must tell you that for me, doing May Day is Lay Day, as well as Hula for Help this year, 2016, means a lot to me. I always respected for what Auntie Valami has been doing. Um, she's so passionate about the women's health, and she's also really passionate about the island. And I'm excellent things. It's just so happy to be a part of this. Aloha, I'm Ivalani Walsh, Wahini Kapu. And I like to say Mahalo Nui Loa to my two dearest friends since we're children, young, young, young women. We're adults now and we have our own families and we're here to make a difference. The Ivalani's Foundation to perpetuate the awareness and the education for women that has been hit with this horrific disease called breast cancer. From the past, the present, and the future, we need to educate our people of Hawaii. Breast cancer will attack anyone at any time, at any age. They don't care what color you are. They don't care how old you are. But we must malama kekino, take care of the body. I'm a cancer survivor. I had a, I was diagnosed in 1994 with breast cancer, and I found that hula has really hula is responsible for why I'm alive. My kumu, Linda Nakamura just told me, you know, Patty, come out and dance. It's going to really help you with your cancer. And I never danced before, but I learned to embrace my disease. And my hula sisters are so supportive. The exercise that we do dancing is really wonderful for breast cancer. Eva Lani, see you in idol. Her halal and what she's doing for breast cancer survivors is giving women that empowerment to let us know that life is not over, that there is life after breast cancer. I am also a cancer survivor, so being a part of this is very important to me. No one is spared the agony of cancer. It touches everyone. In 2014, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer. That was prostate, bone, and anal cancer. I almost died um, after taking my second chemo treatment. Um, it put me in the hospital for about a month. Um, having um, a, a hard part of my uh, chemotherapy, um, the doctor said while I was in the hospital sick um, that the the uh, cancer was gone completely from my body. Um, I still have problems, I still have neuropathy, I still have other um, health challenges that I'm still going through. When we talk about breast cancer awareness, it really hits home because coming from a family who's had cancer in their family, my mother had breast cancer and both were removed. I'm glad to say and happy to say she is a very healthy and 80 years old today and she is really doing very well and I'm so I'm so glad that um, I still have my mother. She puts the heart and soul into everyone being aware of their health, being aware of their wellness and it is with great joy because I, I retired now but other than helping Ivalani I dance in a hello and we dance to the life of Hawaii, the life of the world, and dancing moves the energy. And that's what Ivalani does for people who want to be there. Move the energy for health, for the wellness of your vibe, your kino, the richness of your body and your life. I love supporting um, the uh, Ivalani Foundation and her work. When she called me, I was one of the first ones she called to uh, do this portrait. 
and uh, I said yes right away. Uh, all of us, you know, had to take a little gasp when we realized we're going to be photographed without our top. And my uh, spiritual daughter, Sandy, just happened to be here at that time. Uh, she was in training with me at that time to become a kumuhula, which she has achieved that, that uh, level. So I said, uh, Sandy, we're going to go get our portrait made together. I didn't tell her anything else. And like a good Halmana, she just went along. We got there and she saw that we were taking our tops off and she said, is that all right, Kumu? And I said, believe me, it's all right. Well, the purpose of this was to bring attention to women's um, uh, breast cancer. And uh, I certainly wanted to support that effort. But the irony of the whole thing is that um, Sandy, last December, felt a lump in her breast. And um, it turned out to be cancer. And so she has had to have a, a double mastectomy and, um, and is in treatment for that. So, you know, uh, this means uh, so much more to me because uh, someone so close to me, in addition to Ivalani, has battled this. I was very young. I was hit with breast cancer and cervical cancer, stage three. I decided to make my own foundation and make a difference here in Hawaii. It has been a continuum of reaching out in our community. I decided on May Day, Lay Day, is to celebrate the people, dance, hula. Hula is healthy. We need to exercise. We need to keep the body, mind, and soul continually to be happy, continue to be laughing, and to love, love, love. As far as the health part is concerned, it is very important for every woman to be able to check for this type of disease. In my work that I do, hula is about health and wellness, and the things that we do each and every day for ourselves. Waking up healthy, making sure that we take care of what we need to take care of. Yeah. We have the kuleana of spreading this news to all Bahia in the state of Hawaii and worldwide. This event helps me um, spread the word about cancer awareness, especially breast cancer with women. Um, this event um, gives an opportunity for us to express what hula is um, with cancer. Hula is life. Hula is part of, um, of, of the essence of coming out from your sickness and enjoying the rest of your life. The Hawaiian word I like to use is ho'oponopono. And in ho'oponopono, we, um, we make sure that we're healthy with ourselves before we can do our regular work in the community or whatever we do, take care of children, um, teach, um, you have to take care of yourself. So that word ho'oponopono really comes from within. To clean yourself, to do hula, and for me, to do hula is part of that healing process. She and I have much the same philosophy when it comes to the hula. We know that it's good for the mind, it's good for the spirit, and it's good for the body. I believe the hula is healing. I have so many students that work hard during the day and they come home and they have to decide whether to sit down in their easy chair or to get up and come to hula. And many times they walk in the door very tired. But at the end of class, they always tell me, I feel better now than I did when I came in. I'm so glad I came to class. Hula for fitness. So we actually are teaching folks uh, kupuna, young people, keiki. We're teaching people of all ages to dance hula, not necessarily with the goal to perform, but to exercise. And uh, we do that routine every week. And uh, in that way, a lot of people will feel comfortable moving and dancing in a very rhythmic, very uh, romantic uh, music. And uh, often um, it's life transforming.
I believe that we, as women, should gather together and make sure that we tackle this problem head on. And hopefully everyone will be checked for cancer. Thank you, Mahalo Nui and Aloha. This uh, effort that uh, she has been putting forth for the last 10 years to bring these portraits of hula people forward and to tell the story that we need to find a way to uh, get rid of this breast cancer. The other Hawaiian value that I like to talk about is ha'aha. Ha uh, besides ho'oponopono, ha'aha ha -ha is to humble yourself. So with hula and health, you have to have ho'oponopono first to clean everything out from what you've um, done in your past and to have and to be humble along the way and not only humble to others but to be humble to yourself and that's the most important for this um, i've known auntie eva Lenny for the last 36 years and i'm very grateful for her friendship and i know she has gone through her breast cancer i has i have gone through my cancer as well and uh it's a great event so I look for better things to happen for this event. Um, this is only the second year, so for better things to come. Aloha. Together, we can rise above it. We can support one another. We can also raise funds for research as well as to really put out a lending hat. Our hula hats, our hula hats, our lending hats. And when we stretch them out to you, it's to say, come, e como mai, enjoy with us. Come, be a part of what's important to us. Come, be a part of Hula for life. Be a part of the Ivalani Foundation. I just thank all the women that came forward in the spirit of aloha, because again, aloha is not a word, it's an action, and it's definitely a healing force. And thank you so much for making a difference in my life and helping me heal. And with this campaign, we want to reach out and touch others that has been affected with breast cancer or any kind of cancer. It's not a good thing to have. And we, the people of Hawaii, say hula for help. Dance, 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 because that's a healing force. Know your culture, know where you came from and where you're going. If we don't continue to do this, it becomes diluted forever.